विश्वस्तमी विश्वचिपुत्र अत्रूपाग्रजापुरी माठुरी हो राधाकुंद गिरीबरम अहो राधिकृप्तो यतीत कृपया श्री गुरु तम न गुरवे कौरचंद्राय राधिकाये कृष्णा कृष्ण भक्त तदक्ता नमो नम आनंदलीलमाय विग्रहाय हेम बद्यसुंदराय तस्म महाप्रेमरस प्रदाय चैतन्यचंद्राय नमो नमस्ते चैतन्यचंद्राय नमो नमस्ते चैतन्यचंद्राय नमो नमस्ते भक्ता खंड शेखर स्मर सुमुरली मनोहरा कृपनिधे सुखी चरण किंकुरस्मी तबस्मी नाजवा तया बिना देवी तम नरण First of all, I offer my sastang dandavat puspanjali, my heart like flowers, thousands and thousands of times, at the lotus feet of my holy master, my supremely worshipable spiritual guru dev, Asmadiya Panamarada Tama Guru Pada Padma, Nitilila Pravishta Om Vishnu Pad Ashto Tarasatasi. रूपाचार्य शिल भक्ति वेदांत नारायण गोस्वामी महाराज सेकेंडली आई एफ माई प्रणाम थाउजेंड्स ऑफ टाइम्स एट द लोटस फीट ऑफ माई परम गुरुदेव टू श्रील प्रभुपाद टू शिल प्रभापाद सत्पर्षद वृंदा हिज इथर्नल असोसिएट्स एंड टू ऑल अबाउट श्री रूपानुग गौरी गुरु परम एंड फाइनली आई एफ माई प्रणाम परम पूज्य पाठ महाराज अनन्य तिडंगी पाठ गण एंड ऑल दी असेंबल वैष्णव एंड वैष्णवी वंच कल्पतरूप्य कृपा सिंधुभ्य पुदीत नम पावनी वैष्णवीभ्यो नमो नम महाराज की जय। 
पूज पर बकरीदंत याति महाराज की जय अरे so today is a very auspicious day it is the day of the appearance the pran pratishta mahotsava of cc gandavika govinda sundar cc radha gandavika govinda sundar ki jai so on the day of the pran pratishta of vigra in this world it's very important to speak about the vigraha tattva the principle of vigra what is the meaning of vigra v Vi means vishesh roop especially and graha means grahana to accept so because the conditioned souls they cannot see krishna athasi krishna nama di nabavat grayam indre krishna's name form qualities and pastimes are beyond the capacity of perception of the senses of conditioned souls therefore bigraha especially to accept our service see krishna appears in a form that we can uh, see that we can serve so that is called bigraha especially to accept our service and why does bigra appear in this world or why does krishna do anything aham bhakta pradino yashvatantra ivadija see krishna said i am not independent hmm? i am subordinate i am controlled by the love of my devotees hmm? so in in regard to the appearance of sri nath ji gopal hmm? why did he appear in this world because of the love of madhav and the puri pad so sila krishna's karaja swami pad he said yaha prema vashi haiya prakata haila seva angikar kari jagadat tarila the bigraha appears in this world being controlled by the prem of the pure devotees ama bhakta preme bandhya che hridaya bitare yaha yaha net pare dekhaye hamare si krishna said my pure devotees have bound me up in their hearts with the rope of love and wherever they look inside or outside they see me everywhere so being controlled by the love of his pure devotee see krishna appears in this world as bigraha and incidentally then seva angi karakori jagata thrila by becoming available to accept the service of all the people of the world everyone becomes liberated from this world by coming in the presence of takur ji bowing down making offerings receiving mahaprasad garlands and mahaprasadam in this way all the people of the world they become liberated they develop pure bhakti so this is why see krishna appears in this world as bigraha so one may say but this bigra is a statue this is a stone but the shastra said achai vishnu shila de guru shu naramati vaishnava jati buddhi if a person thinks that a vaishnava belongs to a particular caste then he will go down into the hellish regions for such a, an offense a vaishnava he has no jati hmm? ye baje sahi bada abakta hi na cha krishna bhajane nahi jati kula di vicha mahapu said those who are doing bhajan they are great hmm? and those who are not doing bhajan they are despicable and in this realm of krishna bhajan service to krishna there is no consideration of birth caste creed gender or anything hmm? so and one who has a material conception of guru he also falls down due to his offense hmm? and one who thinks arche vishnu shiladi that the deity is stone he also goes down hmm, under the weight of his offenses so bigraha is sachidananda bigraha ishwaraha paramaha krishna sachidananda bigraha 
the embodiment of eternity, knowledge and bliss. First, the Swarup of Krishna manifests in the heart of the pure devotee. And then afterwards, it seems that someone may make a statue. But this is Krishna coming out from the heart of the devotee and manifesting before our eyes. Swapnideki Sri Rupa Radha Dhamudare Swahastani Mankare Dilishi Jiveri In Bhakti Ratnakar it's described how one night in a dream Srila Rupa Goswami he saw Radha Dhamadar and then when he woke up then he began to carve and he made deities so what he saw in his heart first manifest outwardly and then he gave his heart Radha Dhamadar to Srila Jiva Goswami so this is Vigraha Tattva and it's very appropriate that we are celebrating this today because it is like the Adivastiti of the Adivastiti of the Adivastiti of Janmastami the celebration before the celebration before the celebration of the celebration of Janmastami which is the actual um, day when Sri Krishna performed his Janmalila in this world so to prepare us to go into deep meditation for the birthday of Sri Krishna for the next few days we'll be discussing Krishna Tattva so this I don't know if some of you can see here this is a very beautiful verse spoken by Uddhav in the third canto of Srimad Bhagavatam so we can chant it and it describes mm, at least in each line there is one very profound tattva, one very profound mystery in regard to Krishna's Leela in each line of this verse. So we can sing it together. Swasanta Rute Shwitare Swarupair Abhyajamane Shanukam Pitatma Paharavaresho Mahadamsa Yukto Hyajo Pijato Beautiful. When was this verse spoken? It was spoken by Uddhav Prabhu to Vidura. Just after the disappearance of Sri Krishna from this world. At that time, Krishna said to Uddhav, Now I will become aprakat unmanifest and Uddhav was take me with you Krishna said no you have to go to Badrik Ashram in the Himalayas and give instructions to the sages there but on the way you should go to Brindavan and there in the beautiful sand on the bank of Jamuna like you are now <laughs> hmm? you'll meet with Maitreya Rishi and you'll meet with Vidura and I want you to give some instructions to Vidura so then Krishna became unmanifest from this world and Uddhav was in great separation. Ha Krishna, ha Krishna, where are you Krishna? And gradually he was traveling and traveling and he came to Vrindavan, to Gyan Gudari. And there he met with Maitreya and with Vidura. And Vidura asked Uddhav, because Vidura had been on Parikrama, he didn't have any of the latest news of what's going on in the Yadav dynasty. So he asked him, oh, how is Krishna? And how are the Yadu dynasty doing? He did not know that they'd all become unmanifest from the vision of the world. So when Udavji heard this question, then he began to tremble. His hairs were standing on end. Tears were flowing from his eyes. And he went into Samadhi, into a trance. Vidura was looking at Uddhav. He was very pleased, very satisfied. Just see the brain, the great, powerful, transcendental love which is stirring the heart of Uddhav. I'll have to wait until he comes out from his trance. So Vidura was waiting. Shanaka Bhagavan Lokan Nrilokam Puna Agataha Vimridja netre viduran pritya uddhava utsmayan. Sri Sutta Goswami, Shukadeva Goswami, sorry. He's saying, 
Just then, Shanakar Bhagaval Lokan, Udivji returned from Goloka Brindavan. Hmm? He came back from the spirit. Though he was physically sitting in front of Vidura, due to his prayer in his samadhi, he went to the spiritual world. So Shanakar Bhagaval Lokan, gradually, gradually, he came back from the spiritual world. Nri Lokan, Puna Agataha, back to the world of the human beings. Nri Lok. Hmm? And he began to wipe his eyes, wipe the tears from his eyes. And smiling, being very surprised, and with great affection, he began to address Vidura. Hmm? Why was he smiling? Why was he surprised? Why was he overwhelmed with affection for Vidura? Why? Because... When he, in his trance, went to the spiritual world, Krishna told, Hey Uddhav, Vidura is waiting for you. You have to answer his questions. <laughs> so then, <laughs> Uddhav came back out of Samadhi and looked, Oh Vidura, Krishna loves you so much. Uh -huh. So Guru Tattva is like this. Guru Tattva means, who is the Brajvasi, transcendental associate of Sri Krishna. Hmm? And when the Vaishnavas are posing the questions, then Krishna is giving inspiration. Pitya Uddhava Utsmayan. Oh, explain this. So now Uddhav began to speak to Vidura. He said, Yan Matili lo paika so yoga maya balam dashaita grihitam vismapadam swasya chat so bagade parampadam bushna bushnangam. Oh, see Krishna manifested his human-like form in this world by the, to show the power of yoga maya. Hmm? That is the extreme limit of all Aishwarya, all opulence, and more than that, the extreme limit of all Madhurya, all sweetness in his human-like form. And that form of see Krishna would have said was so beautiful, so astonishing. Hmm? That even Vismapanam Swasyas Chasobagade, if Krishna's own expansion see his human like form of Krishna Govinda Gopal in, in Brindavan, then they become surprised, they become shocked. Hmm? When Lord Brahma tried to steal all the cows and boys, then Krishna became all the cows and boys. And when Brahma came back, then each form of the mm, cows and boys became a form of Lord Narayan. And Lord Brahma was astonished. But all those forms of Lord Narayan, they saw Krishna and they were astonished. <laughs> huh? How beautiful is the original form. Krishna's too, Bhagavan Swayam. More beautiful than Lord Narayan. Even you know that once in Dwarka, there was a Brahman. And he had ten children, one after another, and they all died. And then the last one, Arjun said, I'll protect him. But that boy also disappeared. Arjun said, if I cannot protect him, I'll give up my life. So Arjun was about to give up his life. But see, Krishna said, wait, don't be so hasty. Come with me. And Krishna took him above all the heavenly planets and beyond the universe, beyond the Viraja, and into the Karna Ocean. And there was Mahavishnu. Huge form of Mahavishnu. And when they arrived there, that huge form of Mahavishnu said, I am the one who took all of those boys. Why? Because I wanted to see Krishna. And Arjun also. Arjun is also very beautiful. Krishna is more beautiful when he's in the company of his loving devotees. Hmm? So, how beautiful is that human-like form of Krishna? Even Mahavishnu was a desperate to see, so desperate to have his darshan, that he stole away the boys of that Brahmin. Hmm? So that very form, the original human-like form of Krishna in Vrindavan, has appeared here as Govinda Sundar. So how fortunate we are that we can come and take darshan 
and render service to C.C. Gandavika Govinda Sundar. So then Udivji, he said this verse, Swasanta rupai sitara surupaya abhyajama neshanu kampitatma paravare shoma yadam sayukto ya jopi jato bhagavan yatagni. First line. Oh, basically, the basic translation is this. Swasanta rupesh. Krishna has his Shanta Roop, that is peaceful forms. Now here, Shanta, you should know when you see the word Shanta in Srimad Bhagavatam, in relation to devotees, Shanta doesn't mean peaceful, relaxed, not stressed. Shanta means full of prem, full of love. Krishna Bhakta Nishkam Atayeva Shanta Mukti Bhukti Siddhikami Sakli Ashanta. Only the pure devotees are peaceful. Hmm? Because the yogis, they are greedy, they are lusty, they want mystic powers, yoga cities. And the karmis, they want to go to heaven and enjoy. And the jnanis, they want mukti liberation. So they are all greedy, they all for something. They don't have. But the devotees of Krishna, their hearts are full of love, they have no desire. Only the desire to please Krishna. They have no desires for themselves. They have no personal agenda, no false ego. Hmm? So the pure devotees, they are shanta, they are peaceful, not disturbed by any desire. And the supreme shant, the supreme peace is praying, pure love. Hmm? Suvarna varna he mango varangas chandanangadi sanyasi kritsama shanto shanti nishta parayana in the Mahabharat, in the Vishnu Sastranam Stotram. There it is predicted by Bhishma Dev that Krishna will appear in a golden complexion, decorated with Gopi Chandan Tilak. And he will take sannyas. And he will shanti nishta be absorbed in prem. Hmm? How will he be absorbed in prem? Prem nam sankirtan. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So Shantarup means Krishna's own form in the form of his devotees. His devotees cannot be separated from him. There's one reality. Panchatattvapakam krishnam bhakta rupa surupakam bhaktavatanam bhakta kamya mamit bhakta shaktikam. There's one supreme truth. Hmm? Krishna guru bhakta shakti avatar prakash. H.I. rupa krishna karna vilas. Krishna plays in these forms. Himself, guru, his devotee, his shakti. His avatars and his expansions like Baladeva, Nityananda Prabhu. So that together is the Paramtattva, Supreme Reality. So here Swashantarup means the devotees. And Itarai, Itarai means the opposite of the devotees. Who is the opposite of the devotees? Materialistic persons. Eh? Those in the, the Rajagun and Tamagun. So there are other rupes, so Itarai. And they, those roots, those forms, they give problems to Krishna's devotees. Abhyajamanesh means when the demonic persons attack the de peaceful devotees of Krishna and give them problems, then Anukampitatma, Krishna's heart is full of compassion. He cannot tolerate any difficulty to his devotee. And therefore, what happens? Para avarisho mahadansa yukto. Para avarisha. Para means the transcendental world. Avara means the material world. And Isha means the Lord. So para avarisha means the Lord of both the spiritual and the material world. He appears. Mahadansa yukto. Mahad means great. Ansa means his expansions and yukta means united so when krishna appears in this world all his avatars they all enter into him everyone is in krishna nashinga baraha narayan lord ram everyone is there you know when krishna he went and he was fighting with jambavan when jambavan realized i cannot defeat this person then it must be my lord and he prayed to krishna as lord ramachandra because Lord Ramachandra is also 
Ramadi Moti Shukalani and Main Atistan Nanavatana Makarog Bhuvaneshu Kintu Krishna Swayam Samabhavat Paramapumanyo Govindam Adi Purusham Tam Maham Bajami So when the demons they make problems for the devotees then Krishna's heart is melting and he appears in this world but when Krishna appears all the various avatars also they appear within him Hmm? So, Yajo Pijato Bhagavan Yatagni. He, Ajo, means Krishna is Ajaha. He's unborn. Hmm? Unborn. That means, from the material sense, a person is born when their Atma, their soul, is disconnected from a gross body. And their soul, along with their subtle body, accepts another gross body, and then they're born. Hmm? The Atma takes the Shukshma Shriya, the subtle body, with him from one gross body is disconnected, we call that death, and then that subtle body and soul become related to another body somewhere else and then he is born. So this does not happen to Krishna, so Krishna is he ajaha, ajo, he is unborn, but jato pi, but still he is born. Why? Because he comes from the womb of Madhya Yashoda. Hmm? But if there's no connection and disconnection from any gross and subtle body, he appears in his eternal transcendental swarup of Yashoda Nandan, Shama Sunda, Nanda Nandan, hmm? Rasik Sheikha Braj Bihari, hmm? from the womb of Madhya Yashoda. Now some of you will say, well, wait a minute, I thought he was born in the prison cell of Kamsa. So be patient, we'll get to that later. That will take some time. So, Yajo Pijato Bhagavan Yathagni. He appears, how? Yatagani, just like fire. Just like fire. So that means, if, you have, if there's some wood, the fire is already present, but you don't see it. And then, oh, by rubbing the wood together, then, uh, by friction, then the fire that was already there, that was aprakat, unmanifest, becomes prakat, manifest. So, see Krishna, Krishna does not come from Goloka Vrindavan, from the spiritual world here. He comes Yatagni. He is already in Vrindavan. Mathura hmm? Bhagavan Yatro Nityam Sannihito Hari Shukadeva Goswami said, <coughs> Krishna is eternally in Vrindavan Dham. Hmm? He is just Aprakat. And just as fire is becomes Prakat, manifest from wood, that Krishna, who was already in Vrindavan, eternally in his Aprakat Leela, becomes Prakat, manifest. That's why it said, Mahadangsa Yukto, that he becomes united with all his avatars. Because all the avatars come from the spiritual world, but Krishna doesn't. Krishna is already here. And when he becomes manifest, then they come and they enter into him. Hmm? This is the meaning of the verse, Mahadansa Yukto, Yajo Pijato Bhagavan Yatagnihi. So this is an outline of the verse. Now you know the translation. We'll try to go more deeply into the meaning. Krishna Tulya Bhagavata Vibhu Sarvasrai Patish Loke Pati Akhari Nana Artikai Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, just as Sri Krishna is unlimited, so Srimad Bhagavatam is unlimited. Just as Krishna is the shelter of all existence, so Srimad Bhagavatam is our shelter also. Pratishloke pratyakare nana artakai. In every verse, no, in every letter, in every syllable of Srimad Bhagavatam, there are many, many meanings. So here, Swashantarupai Shitarasvarupai. Notice that here Swashantarup refers to the devotees and Itarai, the opposite of that, those who are in passion and ignorance and the demons, they are called Swarup, also Krishna's own forms. So that is very astonishing. How can the demons and how can people in passion and ignorance be called Swarup, Krishna's own forms? Wait a moment, Agasura is just passing behind. <laughs> the reason is that Eikameva Paramam Tatvam Sobhavika Chincha Shaktaya. There is only one Supreme Truth, Sri Krishna, and everything is, is energy. 
So the pure devotees, they are a manifestation of his internal energy and everything else in this material world is the manifestation of his external energy. There is nothing but him. Therefore, in Bhagavad Gita, when Sri Krishna showed the universal form to Arjun, then Arjun saw that, Oh Krishna, you are all the soldiers on both sides. And you are also time. And I see all the soldiers running into your mouths and... Finished. <laughs> Being chewed up. So when we are in Dwandwa, when we, our mind is in a state of duality, then we are seeing, oh, these are the good guys, and these are the bad guys. And we're thinking, oh, and planning. There are so many demons in the world, and then there are the good people, and they're at war with each other, and we get involved in the drama of the material world. Yeah? So whether you take the side of the demons, or whether you take the side of the demigods, you have taken the side of Maya. Because the demons are in, Satu in, the demons are in Rajagun and Tamagun. And the demigods are in Satvagun. But Sattva, Rajas and Tamas is all Maya. Daivi Esha Gunamayi Mama Maya Durathya. Ma meva ye prapadyante Maya meitam tarantite. Only those who surrender to Krishna and don't become involved in the conflicts and the dualities of this material plane can transcend and attain Shuddha Bhakti. Hmm? So Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu once Sanatana Goswami had drunk some contaminated water and his body was covered in sores. And when he came to give pranam to Mahapu, Mahapu would pick him up and embrace him. And Sanatana Goswami said, Don't touch me, I'm contaminated. <laughs> Mahapu said, No, Krishna has sent you to test me whether I am free from dualistic thinking. Mahapu said, Dwaiti badra badra gyan sabha mano dharma. E bala, e manda, e sabha brahm. This dualistic thinking, this is good and this is bad is all the product of a mano dharma. It is the religion of the mind coming from three gunas. So one should be always aloof from this. So Mahapu said, Oh Sanatana Goswami, Krishna sent you to test me that I am not seeing, oh, you are uh, scabby and bloody and uh, yuck, I should not touch you. Because Vaishnava is always Satchidananda, always transcendental. Say, Deya Koditori Chidananda Mai, Aprakrita Deya Tara Charna Bhajai. When a devotee receives diksha, then his body becomes transformed. He becomes also Satchidananda. Otherwise, how can he serve Satchidananda Bigraha? Na Devo Deva Machayat. They said in Shastra, if you want to serve a demigod, you have to become a demigod. If you want to... If you want to serve Indra, you have to go become a devata, go to Indra Lok, then you can serve him. So in the same way, how you serve the Satchidananda Bigraha? Yeah. Krishna is Satchidananda unless you are Satchidananda. So first Diksha, after Diksha then you can go onto the altar and serve Bigraha. Because by the process of Diksha, the substance, there is a transubstantiation of the body and the Vaishnava becomes, he becomes a Vaishnava and Vaishnavas are transcendental. So, in this regard, Uddhavji is saying, Swashanta Rupe Shitaraya Swarupaya in this world, it is Krishna's internal potency playing the role of the devotees. And Krishna's external potency is become, has become everything else and playing the role of the demons and giving them problems. Mm. After Lord Nishingadev appeared, Lord Brahma offered prayers to Lord Nishingadev. He said, Oh my Lord, who can understand you? Bhishma also has said, Hmm? Oh my Lord, who can understand your plan? Even very learned persons, they try to understand what you are doing, but they become bewildered. Hmm? So similarly, Lord Brahma said, Oh Lord Nishingadev, hmm? it, is, uh, it is you who arranged for Prahlad Maharaj to take birth as the son of Hiranyakashipu. It is you who inspired me to give the benedictions to Hiranyakashipu, that he would become powerful. It is you who inspired Hiranyakashipu to attack Prahlad Maharaj. Then it's you who came and saved Prahlad Maharaj. You are doing everything. Huh? Brahmaji realized realize this? It's quite shocking. Because we can pass our days in the state of dualistic mind, dualistic thinking. Hmm? But that dualistic mind cannot do bhajan. Yesham twantagatam papam. 
जनानम पुण्य कामनम थे द्वंद्व मोह नियमुक्त बजंतिमाम अंद्रेदा ब्रता इन गीता सी कृष्ण सेड ये सम तथां त्वंतकथम पापम दोस हु हैव बिकम फ्री फ्रॉम देयर पाप देयर सिंस जनानम पुण्य कामनम इन दिस लाइफ एंड प्रीवियस लाइफ एंड दे डिड पुण्य कर्म हे पुण्य कर्म डज नॉट मीन पाइस एक्टिविटीज हे पुण्य कर्म मींस वैष्णव सेवा Hearing Harikata, Shrinvatam Swakata Krishna, Punya Shravana Kirtana. By serving Vaishnavas and hearing Harikata, then gradually, Te Dvanva Mohan Niramukta, the mind becomes free from dualities, and when the mind is free from dualities, then we don't become absorbed in external things of this world. Bhajanti Maam Drida Brataha. Krishna said, That person, he does very strong bhajan to me. So, so Santa Rupa is it rise or Rupa? Krishna's energy, internal energy of the devotees and external energy. Oh, Krishna's spiritual lila and Krishna's expansion, Mahavishnu's shristi lila of the world. And there's a friction between these two. The demons attack the devotees, and from that fric friction, fire appears. So here, Paravare Sho Mahad Angsa Yukto. From that friction, then Anukampitatma, Krishna becomes full of compassion. This is very mysterious. The Supreme Lord feels compassion with his devotees because Krishna does not directly re interact with his external energy. The external energy is inferior. So Krishna is Rasik Shekhar, the relisher of all rasa. He cannot derive any pleasure from interaction with his inferior external energy. So the living beings are in Maya, they may be suffering so much. But the heart of Krishna is not melting. He is not aware of that. But the pure devotees are in this world. They have bhakti, they have swarup shakti in their heart, his internal potency. And when they are abhyadamaneshu, they are suffering. They are undergoing difficulties due to the persecutions. Then Krishna's heart is anukampitatma. It is trembling with compassion. He wants to save them. He must come to save them. So therefore, Srila Bhakti Nauta Kaur has said, Vaishnava Abhidana Krishna Doyamai Heihe Naupamara Prati Habena Sadoi If we pray to Krishna, will Krishna hear us or not? Hmm? Vaishnavera Abhidana Krishna Dharma. When a Vaishnava prays for us on our behalf, then Krishna gives mercy. Mm. And when that mercy comes, we become fully surrendered. Sadanga Shanagati Hoibe Jaha Tahara Pratana Shuni Srinanda Kumar. Srila Bhakti Thakur has also said that only a person who has completely surrendered with six angas of Shanagati. Accepting everything which is favorable for bhakti, rejecting everything which is unfavorable for bhakti, accepting Krishna is my protector in times of danger, accepting that Krishna will mean maintain me throughout my life, I have nothing to be concerned of for maintenance in this world. And always being meek and humble. And Atmanivedan, offering oneself fully to Krishna, oh Krishna, nothing is mine. Everything is yours. Even my own soul is not mine. My soul is yours. Atmaniveda. Offering everything. So if someone takes shelter of Krishna by these six angas, then when they pray, then Krishna, the son of Nanda Maharaj hears. Otherwise, if one is not surrendered and someone prays, then Paramatma hears. But Paramatma, how is he? Samoham sarva bhuteshu namai dvaistosna priya. He's equal to everyone. He's... He is not against anyone and he has no attachment or affection for anyone either. Mm. So Paramatma is always remains in neutral position. He's just watching, he's a shakshi and permitting you to do whatever you want to do in this world. Upadrasta Anumantascha. But how can our prayers attack the, attract the attention of Krishna? First Sharnagati, surrender at the lotus feet, Guru Padasrai, at the lotus feet of Gurudev. Then Gurudev will pray to Krishna and then his attention comes to us. Yasya prasada bhagavat prasado yasya prasada nagati kutopi dayam stu vams tasya yasya stri sandyam vande guru sri charnaravindam The mercy of Krishna comes to us 
when the mercy of Guru comes first and then Krishna's mercy. So, Abhyagama is Manesha Anukampi Tatma. Krishna's heart is trembling. He wants to give mercy to his devotees or in this world. In fact, that's why the world exists. Why does this world exist? What is the point of it? It is because there were some devotees. They were practicing bhakti, but they did not become quite perfect yet. But the end of the creation came and the world was dissolved, the pralai. And so everything was dissolved, there was nothing, annihilation. But then, see Krishna, he was feeling separation from them. Oh, I have to give them a bodies so they can do sadhana and be finish and their practice and become perfect and come to me. So, yada sikshishu pura atmana paro. Hmm? Raja srijat esha pritakswamayaya satvam vichitta sururangsu ishwaraha chaishamana tamasira yatya. So, Narad Muni has said that when the devastation is going on, it is Krishna who by his desire agitates the material energy. He awakens it by his desire in order to give bodies to his those devotees who have not quite become perfect yet out of love for them. But when he makes the material energy begin to, the three gunas come out of equilibrium and begin to manifest this world to give bodies to his devotees, then incidentally the whole rest of the creation is set loose. So all the jivas, the atmas, who are floating there, who have no relation with Krishna, they also get the chance to get a body. But the cause of the manifestation of the world is for the devotees. This is actually the cause. Madbhaktanam vinodatam karomi vivida kriya All of my activities, Krishna said, I am doing them out of love for my devotees. So Krishna makes the gunas move and the world is manifest. This movement of the gunas we call time. Hmm? What is time? Tick, 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 tick. Why does this time exist? Because Krishna loves his devotees. Everything is coming from due to Krishna's love for his devotees. And incidentally, we have the chance in this world to meet those devotees also. And by their mercy, the bhakti comes to us and then we can also attract the attention of Sri Krishna because bhakti is attractive to Sri Krishna. Sri Krishna akarshini. Prem attracts Sri Krishna. So, pravre sho maharang yukto. Due to the friction between the devotees and the non-devotees, Krishna's heart is melting. And then, he comes in this world Mahadang Sayukto. There's a great difference between Krishna and his various incarnations. You see, Krishna's only business, what is it? Premarasa Nirjas Karite Ashwadan Raga Magra Bhakti Loke Karite Pracharan Krishna's only business is tasting the essence of Prem of love. Mm -hmm. And incidentally, as he's tasting the essence of love with Nanda and Yashoda, with Balaram, with Rohini Maya, with the coward boys, with Sri Dham, Subal, Dham, Vasudham, Arjun, Labanga, Stoka, Krishna, Madhumangal, Vasan, Kokil, Bringa, many coward boys. And with all the gopis of Vrindavan, Lalita, Vishaka, Chitra, Tampakalata, Induleka, Tunga, Vidya, Ranga Devi, Sudevi, and especially with Shimati Radhika. Mm -hmm. While Krishna is relishing the essence of Prem, then the, sa the sages begin to speak about this Leela. And by this, the Raga Marga Bhakti, Raganuga Bhakti becomes initiated in this world. So this is why see Krishna appears. But Mahadangsa Yukto means that when he appears, his anxas enter into him. And so even though it looks that, as if Krishna is killing the demons, See, Krishna is not killing the demons. Who is killing the demons? Vishnu, Vishnu inside Krishna. Huh? So, Mahadangsa Yukto, hmm? Krishna is not coming Yada Yada Hi Dharma Sya Glani Bhavati Bharata just to establish Dharma and kill demons. Krishna is coming to relish love with his devotees, but because Mahadangsa Yukto, his anxas enter into him, then they kill the demons, incidentally. It's just like if you want to cook, 
Why do you cook? Because you want to eat some food. But when you light the fire in the kitchen, in order to cook the food, then what happens? The heat of the fire makes the kitchen warm. Hmm? So that is the side effect. So in the same way, Krishna's purpose of coming to this world is to relish praying with his devotees. But incidentally, the kitchen becomes warm. That means that the angsas within him, they kill the demons. So the same is true with Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Why does Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu come to this world? Same as Krishna. Prema rasa nir jas kurite ashwadhan. Only to discover this time what is the greatness of the prema of Shimati Radharani. In Krishna Leela, he's appearing to realize oh, what is it like to be loved by Radharani. Hmm? And in Gora Leela, he's coming. What is it like to love me like Radharani? This is the difference. This is why he comes. And incidentally, he may also distributes Raga Marga Bhakti. Hmm? So, in Gora Leela, there are so many pastimes. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he takes the Chanka, he takes the Sankirtan to the house of the Chankazi and liberates the Chankazi. You know? In another pastime, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gives mercy to Jaga and Madai. Hmm? In another pastime, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he defeats the great scholar, Keshava Kashmiri. But all of these Leelas, they are not done by Sachinandan Gohari. These Leelas are done by Gaur Narayan. Hmm? That is, the Lord Narayan or Vishnu inside Gora who is doing this. And Gora Leela, oh, that is his Harinam Sankirtan in Shiva Sangam when he is rel relishing Prema Rasa. His pastimes in the Gambira in Jagannath Puri with Swarp Damodar and Roy Ramananda relishing all Brindavan Leela. And so many other Leelas, they are because Mahadangsa Yukto all the answers of different avatars enter into him and so other things are going on. So these are very confidential mysteries. Mm -hmm. It's very important to hear these things or you may discover that you have been worshipping Lord Narayan mm -hmm. when you thought you were worshipping Krishna. Huh? So, Paravaresho Mahadang Sayukto Yajopi Jato Bhagavan Yatagni Bhagavan appears Aitech Angsa Kalapungsa Krishna's two Bhagavan Swayam. What does Bhagavan Swayam mean? It means that form who is not dependent on any other form for his Aishwarya and Madhurya, his opulence and sweetness. Lord Narayan has opulence, but that opulence comes from Krishna. Mathuresh, Krishna in Mathura has some sweetness also, but that sweetness comes from Krishna in Vrindavan. So whatever forms there are of the Supreme Lord, all their Aishwarya, whatever powers they have, and whatever su sweetness they have, it comes from Krishna. But where does Krishna's Aishwarya and Madhurya come from? No one. He is not dependent on anyone. We can tell from the point of view of Tattva Vichara. From Rasa Vichara, then we'll say, he is not so sweet without Radhika. <laughs> but that is another, that is Rasavichar, not that. From Tattvavichar, from the point of view of metaphysics, philosophical principles, Krishna is Swarat, self-manifest, independent, and his sweetness and his opulence is his own. And whatever is in anyone else, that's also coming from him. So that is called Bhagavan Swayam, Swayam Rup, see Krishna. But Bhagavan, the essence of Bhagavan is sweetness. Hmm? Madhurya Bhagavata Sa Braja Koila Paracha Bhyanta Sushuka Bhyasera Nandana Stane Stane Bhagavate Vani Achi Jana Ite Tahasune Mate Bhaktagan Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, the essence of Bhagavata, the essence of being Bhagavan is Madhurya, sweetness. Madhurya means Sarava Manoharam, stealing the heart of everyone. So beautiful. If anyone will see him, they forget everything. Hmm? That is Bhagavan. Hmm? In the Shastras it is said, Aiswaryasya, Samagrasya, Viryasya, Yasasasriya, Gyanavairagyas, Chaiva, Sanam, Bhagami, Tingana. 
that Bhagavan is that person who has all Aishwarya. He, Aishwarya means Yoga Siddhis. Anima, Lagina, Mahima, Garima, Kama, Vasayita, Vasita, Isita. All the Yoga Siddhis, naturally to the fullest degree, to be the biggest of the biggest and the smallest of the smallest and the heaviest of the heaviest and the lightest of the lightest. Mm -hmm. And to any desire is fulfilled automatically. He can reverse all uh, the laws of nature, everything. They all sit it. They're naturally in secret. So that is Aishwarya Sya Samaga. Virya Sya means strength. Aishwarya Sya Samaga. Virya Sya. Yasha Sya. Yash means fame. Sri beauty, gyan knowledge, and vairagya detachment. So that is Bhagavan. But this description of Bhagavan's opulence is somewhat dry. When Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to Braj. He sat down beneath the tree in Bahulavan and two parrots came and landed on the branches of the tree and the parrots began to sing the glories of Krishna. One of those parrots, the male parrot, was singing the glories of Krishna actually. The female parrot was singing the glories of Radharani. So the male parrot said, Saundaryam lalanali darya dhalanam lila ramastam bini viryam kandu kitadri varyam amala pari paradam guna shilam sarva janan uranjana maho asyayam asmat prabhu vishwam vishwa janina kirti avatat krishno jagan mohana the parrot said to chaitani mahaprabhu being absorbed in the praying for krishna ah krishna is jagan mohan He's so sweet. He steals the hearts and steals the mind of all moving and non-moving living entities in the universe. And his sweetness is manifest. Six sweet opulences. Saundaryam lalanali darya dalanam. First of all, his beauty. How beauty? Lalanali darya dalanam. Lalana means the young beautiful Brajagopis. They are very religious. They are very pure. They are very patient. They have Darya patience. But Saundaryam Lalanali Darya Dalanam. Krishna's beauty is such that it completely crushes the patience of Brajagopis. They become mad. They forget everything. Kastrangate Kalapadaya Tavenu Gitam Samohitarya Chalitam Nachalatri Lokam Trilokya Sobagamidam Chanirikshya Rupam Yad Godvija Druma Mirga Pulakanya Bibran. So, Braj Gopis told Krishna. Krishna told them, you should follow your Dharma. Gopi said, how can we follow Dharma? Because your beauty is such. Kastranga teikala padaya tavenu gita. When you play your flute and you glance and you smile, you are so beautiful. That Yadgo Dvija, Yadgo Dvija, Druma Mrigaha, Pulukan Nabibran, even the cows, Gavasta Krishna Mukanirgata Venu Gitam, Priyusham Uta Bita Kana Puta Pibantya, Shavasnuta Stanapaya Kavalasma Tastu, Govinda Matmani Drishashu Kalas Prishantyaha. When Krishna plays his flute, then the cows, you know, it's their dharma to chew all day. <laughs> but the cows, they forget their dharma and they stop chewing. And the grass is just hanging from their mouths. And the calves, they're drinking the milk from the udders of their mothers. And it's their dharma to just suck the milk and swallow. But hearing the sound of Krishna's flute, they forget, I'm a calf. <laughs> they forget to swallow. And the milk is still coming and dripping down from their mouths because they're not swallowing. Mm? And they feel Govinda, Atmani, Drishashnu, Kalas, Prasantya. Thinking of Krishna and hearing the sound of his flute, they feel the touch of Krishna because Krishna likes to come and scratch the cows under the neck. <laughs> they can feel his touch just by hearing the sound of his flute and they become in ecstasy. Mm? Yet Godvija, the birds also. Prayo, Bathamba, Vihagamu, Nayo, Vanespin, Krishna, Kshitam. Yaduditam kaluvenu gitam aruya ye druma bujan nuchira pavalam shinvanti milita disho vigatanya vacha. When Krishna plays his flute, the birds, it's their dharma to be restless and fly around here and there. But hearing Krishna's flute, they sit down on the branches and they half close their eyes like rishis and meditate. Hmm? 
and the dear danyas mamuda katiopia in the eta yananda nandana upatta vichitra vesham akana veno ranitam sahakrishta sara pujam the tovi rajitam pranayava lokai the deer are very shy you know if you see a deer in the forest and you step on a leaf and it makes a little sound the deer look up and then they run away quickly but when krishna plays his flute then their dharma to be shy or becomes upside down and the deer they approach krishna in the forest and come very close to him and worship him with their beautiful lotus eyes so the gopis are saying, you told us we have to follow Dharma. But look, when you play your flute and smile, you are so beautiful that the cows give up their Dharma, the birds give up their Dharma, the deer give up their Dharma, all give up their Dharma. So if we give up our Dharma also, hmm? we, we lose our patience and run out from our homes to meet you. This cannot be our fault, it must be your fault. Because you have this effect on everyone in the universe. Hmm? Saundaryam lalanari dharadalan lila ramastambini. Krishna's lila, his pastimes are so sweet that Lakshmi Devi, the goddess of fortune, you know what? All the demigods are worshipping her, trying to get her merciful glance. But if Narada Muni will go to Vaikuntha and tell the glories of Radharaman, hmm, then Lakshmi Devi becomes stumba, stunned. Uh, she cannot move. And then finally when she can move, she leaves Vaikuntha and goes to Vrindavan. Kasyana bhavusya na deva vidmahe tavangri nam sparashadi kara yadvanchya shri lalanacha tapo vihaya kamam suchi ramdrida brata and even today Lakshmi Devi is doing austerities in Belvan to get a chance to go to the Ras Lila of Krishna. Viryam kandu kitadri varya mamala Krishna has virya strength but how does Krishna use that strength? Giridari Lala Ki Jai! Oh, to lift Giriraj Govardhan. To stand like this. Because like this, his waist is very thin, his chest is very broad. He's just lifting Govardhan to imp impress the gopis. Tam prema vegam nibrita prajokaso Yatha samayu pararambanadi bihi Gopyasta sneha yada puji atmuda this Leela of lifting Govardhan, seven days and nights, all British Basis were so grateful to Krishna. Then they were so worried. And when he put Govardhan down, then they all surrounded him and embraced him. And their frame went so high. You know, Rupa Goswami said, Bacho Vegam, Manasakoda Vegam. You have to control the Veg. Vague the urges. The urges are very strong. But here Shukadev Goswami said, Tam prema vegam nibrito brajoka so. Then everyone had a prema veg. The urge of prema went so high. When Krishna did this Giridhari Leela, lifting Giriraj Govardhan. If he had not done this Leela, then the prema would not have been so high. That Braj Gopis would have later abandoned everything to come to meet with him. Hmm. So, now, I'm getting the signal that we have to wind up our kata here. Yeah, it's time for the RT is ready. So I'll just finish the, just the last line of the verse. Uh, we can tell more about Krishna's six qualities tomorrow. But, so here, Just the last word of the verse, Yatagni. Krishna appears like fire. Appears from... The word. That means that Krishna was aprakat, unmanifest, and then he became manifest. So in Bhagavad Gita, Krishna said, Jamma kama chame divyam evam yoveti tattotah, chaktva diham puna jama neti maam eti sorajuna. That one who can understand the transcendental nature of my appearance and activities will not take birth again. So the question comes, how can we understand the transcendental nature of Krishna's birth and activities? How? By chanting the holy names. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Because Krishna is aprakat, that is the unmanifest in the form of sound. And when we chant this Maha Mantra, then from the, his unmanifest form, Shabda Brahma Parabrahma Mamo Bay Shashwati Tanu, Krishna becomes manifest. So those who chant the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, they realize how Krishna from his unmanifest form in the form of sound mantra 
then manifests his form which is visible to you. Just see, how did Krishna appear in this world? Basudev Maharaj was meditating and he saw Krishna in his heart. Then he gave Diksha to Devaki. So by giving Diksha Mantra to Devaki, Om Namo Bhagavate So fr first in the form of sound, he was transferred to the heart of Devaki. And then from there, Krishna became Prakat, manifest to the world. So there's no difference between Krishna uh, manifesting 5,000 years ago, his lila in this world to the whole world, and Krishna manifesting himself to you from the, his apricot form as Shabda Brahma, transcendental sound, and then manifesting his lila in your heart. There's no difference. So those who chant the holy name, they can realize Janma Karma Chame Divyam Evam Yoveti Tattotaha. How see Krishna from apricot becomes prakat? And for those persons, Chaktwa Diham Puna Janma Neti Mameti Sojana, you don't have to come back to Berlin ever again. <laughs> you can go to Goloka Vrindavan. Bare Vrindavan Bihari Lala Ki Jai, Bare Sani Wali Ki Jai, Jai Jai Sri Radhe. Sham Gaur Premanande.